Welcome to Lehigh River Subdivision. I'm Ian. This is seven months of not getting your hair cut and this is layout update number seven. I just want to uh, take a moment to step in front of the camera and say thank you to everyone who's uh, subscribed since I started the layout a few months ago. I've reached 133 subscribers I just noticed the other day and uh, I never thought I would get that many. Uh, I was just doing this to you know make a history video of the layout. Um, my wife's currently pregnant with our first child um, and it's a boy so I figured I'd chronological the layout the building progress so he can watch it later as he gets older and see what I was doing while he was being made so with that I ordered two items this week I wanted to do a little thank you to everyone who subscribed so I'm gonna do a contest uh, one cars in N scale one cars in HL so there will be two chances to win. You'll only be able to enter uh, once for one or the other. So uh, keep uh, a lookout for that to come later this week. I hope they come this week so I can make the video next week so we can get the uh, contest started. So that will be in the near future. And uh, with that said, we'll get into layout update number seven. Okay, starting with the layout progress. Uh, nothing new over here other than... I had a gallon of paint that I found from the previous homeowners. So I painted the panel on this wall and the far wall over there and behind the bench work back there. It actually brightened it up nicer down here and it doesn't feel so much like a dungeon. So with that being said, I added in this little piece is like six inches to come out and meet the other side that pops out there. Uh, the bridge, I don't believe was it was in place last time, but it wasn't fastened. The bridge is now screwed in place, and that's not going anywhere. Um, I added the foam into the cutout. And then I just threw some trees and the house in to, you know, get an idea and feel for things on how I want to scene, do the scenes of the layout. And moving along, here's just another little scene I threw up with the... Uh, the little office shed and the trailer I got last week and the hot dog stand and a pine tree. Just makes it feel a little bit better. Uh, moving around, before we go inside, this bench work piece is in. The framing's done. And the curve is built. So this is the section that will be starting back there. White Haven coming down through the Lehigh Gorge. And this will be Lee Heighton. I'm coming into the inside. Um, you might have seen it in the video of the Mikado running earlier this week. I ripped out all the foam risers I put in from this point all the way to the other side right here. And then I redid it with a two inch foam because uh, this is the train yard. I got the crossover in, started laying some tracks to get a feel. I think um, the yard tracks will fit about 25 cars, give or take, maybe a little more depending on the length of them. I mean, obviously with something like the auto racks, it's going to fit a lot less. Um, these curves right here, um, I know these are 18 and 17. I believe this is like 15 and 13. I could be wrong. I'd have to double check that. Um, moving along, I just laid out the track this way. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the track plan coming down the back and then coming down along here onto the uh, new section. And then I got the foam risers for this section of the layout. I picked up two DC decoders for the uh, Fox Valley models units. I didn't put them in yet because one of the tracks is hooked up DC. The other track is hooked up DCC. So I ordered some track this weekend to hopefully work on this section. And a couple more switches and tracks for this section. Um, this really getting the yard in is not that important right now to me. It's more or less getting the uh, main line around and, you know, adding switches in later and figuring out where I'm going to have industries and such. So that's pretty much 
everything that is new um, since the last update. Um, what I can do is I'm going to pause it and uh, we'll set up some trains and get them running and we'll, we'll finish on that. Okay, one quick thing before we get the trains uh, running. This is the uh, command control for the ESU DCC system. Let me see if I can get it in focus. There it is. Okay, so the first thing when you turn it on, you got to go in here. Make sure it's connected to the Wi-Fi of the unit. It's connected so we can back out. Go to home. This is the command center. Okay. So there we go. It brings up uh, my locomotives. I've got the... Uh, two ready northern units consisted together so I'm just gonna hit that button that turns the sound on for them but the first thing you gotta do is turn the power onto the track and you can hear them starting up in the background so I just wanted to give a quick overlook of you know a little bit of this uh, I'll probably do a better video down the road when I have the DC system, DCC system better wired up Right now it's just got two feeds to the track just to you know run trains back and forth. So uh, I just wanted to give a little quick look over this and uh, we'll get some trains running. So here we got the Lehigh Valley with a coal drag leaving the top part of the layout. And this is on the DCC leg. Or on the, I'm sorry, it's on the DC leg. So we got that train leaving up top. We're gonna come around. And we got that ready northern freight train leaving uh, the Binghamton area, which it would never run to Binghamton, but. And this is heading north. Get a little more power. Oh, hold on. Okay, a little technical difficulty because I don't have enough feeders to the track. Sometimes it uh, kicks in the short circuit cycle or the safety feature on the DCC system. So uh, uh, I had to turn the sound off on the engines and uh, then it works fine. So we got them heading up here towards the bridge. And the Norfolk Southern's coming down. So we're gonna have a meeting here. Here goes the Lehigh Valley across the bridge. We got the Ready Northern Freight heading up the mountain. We're up the grade. Sam, can you hit the button for the sound? Yep. Thank you. And it shorted out. So I have some, I have to get my feeders in. Uh, sometimes it works fine, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. So there's that. Um, Lehigh Valley's ending out there. So thank you for tuning in. And uh, like I said, keep a lookout for uh, giveaway. the giveaway video. So, uh, Thank you for tuning in, and I hope everyone has a great week. Thank you.